Hello everyone, my name is Imtiaz and I'm really excited to present our latest work on uniform sampling from deep generative network manifolds. In this work, we provide a provable method to sample uniformly from a generative network and also show its efficacy for state-of-the-art pre-trained models like StyleGAN2, BigGAN, and NVAE. This is our new paper from a very new exciting line of work with Randall Balestriero and Richard Baraniak from Rice University. Suppose we have a deep neural network, F theta, with depth 5, width 20, and continuous piecewise affine nonlinearities such as ReLU or leaky ReLU. The network is trained to map a bounded domain Z in R2 to a manifold or surface X in R3 that is given here to the right. The deep ReLU network induces a partitioning omega of the input space as a collection of convex polytopes. The partitioning is formed by the piecewise affine nonlinearities of the network. For example, here the different straight and bent lines that we see are exactly different values that we for, for different depths of the network. Each of the partition regions contains the vectors in Z that identically activate or deactivate all the values throughout the network. Since within a region, the activation patterns are identical, vectors from each region are affinely mapped from R2 to R3 via per region affine slope and offset parameters A omega and B omega. This essentially implies that the deep neural network is an affine spline operator. Suppose we now have a uniform density P of Z on Z and a density P of X on X that we observe via N training samples. We are training a deep generative network to map Z to X. Note that P of X here is not uniform since part of parts of the manifold are sampled more than the others. This is generally the case for a lot of real datasets since dataset curation is generally subject to collection constraints. So the, the general datasets that we use are generally not sampled uniformly from the data manifold. The DGN is trained on this data and it would also induce a partitioning of space, like before, uh, that will map each region in Z to regions of an estimated manifold X hat via per region affine parameters. The slope parameter, A omega, for each region in Z would scale the uniform density that lies on each input region to generate the output density per region, necessarily generating the P of X hat. We can clearly see here, denoted by the opacity of the output regions, that P of X hat on the manifold is not uniform. In this paper, we provide an expression for the analytical density of a continuous piecewise affine deep generative network in terms of the input density P of Z per region parameters A omega and B omega. Here I denotes an indicator function. For the setting we were just discussing with uniform P of Z, the analytical density on the manifold can be expressed as inversely proportional to the square root of the determinant of the metric tensor per region. So let's ask ourselves, what is the P of Z that would make P of X uniform? We can also derive such an expression, which gives us a method to sample uniformly from the learned manifold of any pre-trained deep generative network. We call this method Maximum Entropy Generative Network Sampling, or MAGNET in short. MAGNET is exact for generative networks that use convolutions, skip connections, max pooling, batch normalization, and continuous piecewise affine nonlinearities like leaky ReLU or ReLU. MAGNET can also be used for SOTA pre-trained models with complex architectures like StyleGAN2, BigGAN, and NVA. By using MAGNET on StyleGAN2 trained on FFHQ, we can greatly increase sampling diversity and decrease gender bias by 41% without requiring any labels or retraining. Since magnet sampling greatly increases the diversity of sampling, by mixing magnet with standard sampling, we can surpass the state-of-the-art FID for StyleGAN2 on FFHQ. For BigGAN, magnet can be used to uniformly sample while conditioned on different ImageNet classes. Magnet yields a very diverse set of samples, which could possibly be used for data augmentation and downstream applications. We invite you to read our paper and join us in our poster session to discuss more qualitative and quantitative results. Thank you so much for listening.